All right, this is Pretty Boy Chris, the one and only. This is week seven, um, the men's room channel. I think I finally caught up. I was a week behind for a while. I think I'm finally catching up. So week seven, it's a viewer request. It's about dating. This goes out to Evie. You wanted a wave. Yay, there's your wave. Um, dating. Um, how did the people you were with or dealing with take your transition or even how do females you approach take it? Well, one thing I want to put out there just as a general thing is that there's a lot of trans guys who don't just date females. There are some trans guys who date men. There are some trans guys who are bisexual, pansexual. So if you're a little young or even if you're not a little young but if you're a early in transition trans guy and you date men or you're bi um don't think that just because you date men or you're bi doesn't make you a real trans man um because i've heard some of that but in terms of dating i'll just speak in general um the people that i was dating i always let them know up front once i i was self-aware i let them know look i'm trans this is what the situation is um most of them took it okay. I think it became a little trickier when I was actually like moving forward with medical transition because some people, they can deal with you being trans in theory, but when there's actual changes going to occur, there can be some anxiety around that. So um, my thing is just be honest about it. And that's what I did. Um, Post-transition, it's a little, it can be a little trickier with dating because um, in terms of physically being acknowledged as male, um, that happens more often. So most people you would date will assume you to be a, how do I put this, a cis gender male, which means um, you are not assigned female at birth. So there becomes some disclosure. My thing with the disclosure and dating is, um, feel it out, get to know the person, don't tell every person you meet. So yeah, I'm trans, you want to date because you don't know that person's politics, you don't know where they're coming from, and they can take that information and tell a lot of people, and that can be dangerous. So just feel it out, get to know people. I think um, when it comes to wanting long-term relationships, you have to take a little more time, a little more effort goes into it, but it happens. Some people go to mixers where it's um, people who love trans men, trans women, which I personally, I have dual feelings about it. In one sense, I can understand the need for it, but then in another sense, um, there becomes an issue of whether someone's just a chaser, where do they only want you because um, you're trans, so... There's different options. People date online. People do that route. But um, in terms of dating, hey, there's plenty of people who dated long ago before the internet and before people really knew what trans was, and there's still people dating. If you want some more specific dating tips, men.ftmcommunity.com. That's the men's room. Come check it out. I will always encourage you to check out the men's room. All of these questions, there are live people on the men's room. We have over 1,100 members. We're about to hit 1,200 members um, on the men's room. So definitely check it out. Um, get your questions answered. There's also um, Love My F to M, which is a community for trans men and the people that love them, both their partners, allies, people who've dated in the past or are currently dating or looking to date a trans man. Um, family members are welcome to come, allies are welcome to come, and the, the site for that is love.ftmcommunity.com. So check out both of those, and, you know, that's where you can get some of those dating questions answered. But don't feel hopeless. There are some people that can't deal with being with someone trans. Um, there are some people who they might like you and you're trans but for other reasons the relationship ends like even if you weren't trans dating is just one of those hard things just in general so don't lose hope there's somebody out there so don't worry all right and 
come check out the men's room, get some tips, get help on what you need to know, and we'll do our best to help you out. All right, take it easy. I'll wave again. All right, Evie, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but, you know, keep sending those questions in. Keep sending them in, and we'll keep answering them. Men's room channel. This is Pretty Boy Chris. Flexing for you, as usual, giving you the gun show, yes, and uh, I'm out, hope I answered your question, take care, week 7, men's room, dating.